Hello, hello, Diana here. I am so excited to see your smile and face again. But if I'm not seeing you again and this is your first time visiting the channel, please smack that subscribe button. It's somewhere down here, somewhere. Smack it. And the little bell icon, give it a smack as well. And that way you don't miss any of the happenings on the funny farm. So that being said, today is not so funny. Um, not everything that happens at a farm is fun. Not everything that happens at a farm is funny. So, hey, before I get to the story, hay is being delivered tomorrow. So I've got a couple bales to move out of the hay room so that this room is spotless and all this New Year's, um, all the new season's hay can come in. And then I'm gonna tell you a little story. We had one of the animals at the funny farm die from heat. Um, actually from heat and a couple other things, but I don't want to give it away just yet. So stay tuned while you're waiting. Oh my gosh. We could not have paid that chicken to do that. Hi, Flasher. Hi. This chicken is so cute. You guys might remember in this video above, my grandson, who's now the cameraman, asking which chicken was my favorite. And I said, I don't know, there's this gray bird that's always jumping on my hand. That was her. Isn't that cute? You just go, whoa, whoa. I can't. Okay, wait, I was thinking of something and I'm wrong. Um, oh no, you're right, you're right, I'm sorry. Okay. That ain't no fun. And the only reason I'm carrying it this far is to pr impress all y'all on YouTube because normally I would pull the bike out and reverse it. <laughs> My cameraman loves to ride the quad. That's easy. <laughs> oh! <laughs> we won't be able to get the quad out. I have no choice but to move, please. Show me spots. You want to ride that bad boy? Yep. I'll we'll park it in the barn because we're going to do the rabbits. You're okay. Just do it again. Don't, don't get frustrated just because I'm here. There we go. He's got a primp to become the cameraman. Okay, here is where the story begins. If you haven't already seen the video above, go watch it. I have this rabbit called Pretty Girl, and we had another one named Bitchy Face, and we called her Bitchy for short, or BF when my grandkids were referring to her so they weren't hearing Mima say Bitchy. But anyhow, BF was the first of my does in the colony to get pregnant. And one day we're having a horrible, horrible heat um, wave going on right now. And rabbits have a terrible time in heat. And I came out to feed one morning and there was a baby dead rabbit, kind of born but unborn, like it was still in its sack and everything in the middle of my colony. So Bitchy still looked pretty good. So I put her here in the hutch and she had a nesting box in it and I thought she would go ahead, whoop, 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 quit. I thought she would go ahead and have, where are you going? Thought, oh, hold still. Up 
close this. That's cute, that's cute, that's cute. So I put Bitchy into here thinking that she would go ahead and have the rest of her babies, but it was over 100 degrees that day. So what I've been doing to keep the rabbits cool is taking like water bottles full of water in the freezer. So basically they were like a big ice jug. And I had that in here with her, took off. A couple hours later, I come back and she is panting in there. And I thought she was in labor. So I'm petting her going, it's okay, girl. Everybody has babies. You're gonna be okay. And all of a sudden she went ee, ee, and stiffened up. And then she never blinked. She never blinked again. And I'm like, hello, are you there? I'm like tapping on her head. She died. So she just, I don't know if it was a heat stroke, heart attack, or whatever, but trying to have her first litter of babies in over 100 degree weather was just too much for her. So she passed away. I, like I said, not everything on a funny farm is funny because I needed to know if the babies that were inside of her were blocking anything. And I also wanted to verify that there were more than one baby. Rico is still going to be our buck, so I wanted to make sure that he is doing his job. So I opened her up and there was nothing stuck in the canal, nothing half out or anything. She did have a kit, which is baby rabbits. She actually would have had a kit of seven, which is good for um, a doe's first litter. But that being said, she has passed. Rest in peace, bitchy face. It's all part of farm life. However, that allows me to introduce you to this cutie. She has a little upside down heart on her head. I'll be honest with you, if you're right here, it looks like a heart, but from right here, it looks like two balls and a penis. So you can use your creativity. I see a penis, I don't know what everybody else sees. <laughs> I could call her Peckerhead. No. <laughs> She has not been named yet. She seems very sweet. She's very, very young, so she is not anywhere near being bred. She's gonna stay in the hutch until she's friendly because the one thing I have learned with colony living with rabbits, it is harder to, to make a rabbit tame in a colony because you gotta chase them around to catch them. In fact, I have a net to do that. <laughs> So instead of chasing him around, I catch him with the net, but it's a little bit harder. She is what's called a broken chocolate. All right, now this one is scared to death. She is a one-year-old rabbit because I want to be eating the rabbits. Um, not this breeding stock, but I did get them for butchering. She's a black, what the heck is it, is it called? Whatever she is, she's the same. That is literally a spitting image of Rico. You'll notice she does look a lot like Rico. She's pregnant with her second kit, so it should be only in a few weeks that we should have some babies from her. We're gonna trim her nails. I just have a little dog set of clippers here. I forgot when I introduced her because she's older and I wasn't getting to name her. I forgot to let you guys know her name is Lola. She already came named. And anybody that has animals, if you guys didn't already know this, it's terrible luck to rename a named animal. I don't know who came up with that rule, but I've always lived by it. Just rocking her like a baby so she doesn't even really notice what's going on. Oh my gosh, I think the cat is going after Flasher. Now that she's getting a little nervous and fidgety, I did get all all 10 fingers and toes um, and we'll do it again in a day or so but I don't want anything traumatic because one like I said she's older and she's scared but she is pregnant and I don't want to have any kind of problems so I'm gonna put what's her name again Lola away for now she's gonna also stay in the hutch um, until she gets a little less scared and a little more familiar with people because at a year old she's been raised 100% in a cage. So if I were to put her down, I don't want to scare her to death in this heat trying to catch her. So um, I'm going to make her friendly along with this baby. But that's the story. I mean, maybe not a funny story. We lost Bitchy. Rest in peace. Da 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 da. <laughs> but 
We have a couple more and we're expecting some babies and all is well. I might as well get this little girl used to it while I'm out here with clippers. Cause just like a puppy or a kitten, they've got, ouch. She's got some lethal toenails on her. As far as I'm concerned, this is all part of making a funny farm animal gentle. Flasher? She was tired of being left out. She wanted to join the club. No kidding, how cute. And then look at, so does Kane. They're both like, what are you guys doing in there? Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? What? That chicken just came in the colony. I'm kind of afraid this is gonna hurt. <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, it didn't hurt. There you go. And you were telling me being pecked by a chicken doesn't hurt. <laughs> well, of course I would tell you that. So with that, thank you so much for tuning in to our vlog number two. My 12 year old grandson did such a fantastic job of cameramanning. If you guys have any other ideas of things you wanna see around the funny farm, let us know. But with that, stay safe, stay healthy, stay surrounded by loved ones, and most of all, stay grateful for all of your blessings. Until next time, thank you so much.